this is Marcus Prinup, and right now we're going to talk about blues inflections. Many different people have their own interpretation of playing blues. For instance, my blues experience came from the church down south in Cardinals, Georgia, Baptist Church. Um, my grandfather was singing, my mother sang in the choir, my father sang, he was a deacon. And I didn't know it at the time, but I was experiencing, I think like maybe the deepest form of blues that I, I know. Just hear my, my mother bend notes when she was singing. So boo boo wee wee da doo boo. I think maybe my fa my favorite tune to play of all time is Amazing Grace. And since it is Sunday, I'm gonna play Amazing Grace two ways. The first way I'm gonna play it is just gonna be really straight. The melody is just gonna be really straight. And the second time I play it, I'm gonna put some blues inflections. So you can hear how you can take just like a normal melody and add blues inflections and make it something totally different. So this is Amazing Grace very straight. Love that melody, beautiful melody. Now, although that was pretty, hopefully you liked it too, I'm gonna play it again and show you what we were talking about in Conyers, Georgia, uh, in a hot church with no air condition, with those old fashioned fans that we used to use. This is, this, this is what came out of that. I can listen to recordings all day long and I can hear people playing blues, but what I, what I like to do when I'm listening to music is I like to analyze. I'm thinking, what did I do in the second melody that changed it from the first, you know? Number one, and here's number two. Now, one thing I did that was different from the first and the second version is I bent notes. Another thing is I used a lot of vibrato. Another thing I did is I actually altered the melody a bit. So instead of da 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 da, I said da bent note, we bend da do dee 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 dee. It's just bending those notes. That's what creates blues, is those bent notes. Some people say minor thirds. It depends on what um, position of the chord you're in. So basically we have, as opposed to, that's pretty, but the, the first one was more of a bluesy gospel effect. Bending notes like that, a way to practice it is just to, to play one steady tone and try to bend it down a half step or maybe maybe even a whole step like this. Once you get the physical aspect of playing the trumpet out of the way or once you've mastered that, you can actually start to sing as if though you were with your voice. Like if I'm singing, we, we, woo. Mm. 
but not la 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 la. That's okay too, but it sounds like this. But for jazz music, you want to you want to get gritty. You want to think about Coleman Hawkins. You want to think about Ben Webster, Bessie Smith, Louis Armstrong. The way he would sing and play at the same time. You know, he would bend notes. Slow beep, booty, 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 blah, 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 blah. That's my best Lewis. That's just how he sang. And I, I don't know if anyone sang or played the blues as good as, as, as Pops did, as Louis Armstrong did. So, And just by practicing, just, just bending that one note, or you know, or you, you can just sing, you know. La ba bo bi bi ho ho. 